Well, g'day, Glav here, and welcome back. Hit that bloody subscribe button, would you? This ride sees us do a 550 kilometre lap around the Darling Downs. Normally, we would take in Toowoomba, which is the heart of the Darling Downs, but the world-famous Toowoomba Flower Show is on, so we avoided it like the plague as we would have got caught up in town. This is a really good day ride out of Brisbane, but oh my God, as you're about to see, it is just drought ravaged, and I feel so sorry for our farmers. Our first stop today is Gatton for breakfast, which is the idyllic centre of one of the world's most fertile valleys, the Lockyer Valley region. Gatton has a population of roughly 7,000 odd. Over the recent years, the rural tranquility of Gatton has become enhanced by the influx of international tourists, edgy cafes and restaurants, art spaces and stylish boutiques. From Gatton, we'll be riding towards Pittsworth, which will be our next stop. We'll be going up the Great Dividing Range towards Clifton and then on to Pittsworth for a much needed coffee. Christ, the country is dry. Pittsworth has a population of 3,000 odd people. It's a typical Australian regional town that develops from farming support. Uh, typically it's pubs, cafes, shops, etc. Not much to show on this one, unfortunately. <music> Dolby was founded in the early 1840s in a place known locally as the Crossing or Mile Creek. It's a tributary on the Condamine River. It's got a population of about 13,000 people. We stopped here for lunch and then got on our way. We'll be heading to the little town of Crow's Nest next. So here we go down the Great Divide again from Hampton to Esk. We'll be stopping at Esk for another coffee. This is a great twisty bit of scenic road. Coffee time. So from here, we are homeward bound. We head back and cross the Wivenhoe Dam, which is down from about 200% capacity to about 60%. 
an issue with the drought, obviously. From there, we head to Fernvale. Whilst we didn't stop at Fernvale today, this town we often stop at because it's got some great bakeries that make great Aussie meat pies. So that's it from Gladswell today. Apologies, as I know this one may seem a bit boring, but this ride truly has a bit of everything for everyone. You can see from the video how the drought is hurting the country so badly. Please remember that life is short, so live life today.